In this video, I'm going to show that the limit of sine theta over theta as theta approaches zero is equal to one without using El Hopital's rule. So in this case, we're going to use a squeeze a theorem to show this limit. Let's dive in. So if we look at this figure, uh, this is a unit circle. So we have here a circle of radius one. So this is one and then that is one. And we have here a, a right triangle. So if this uh, angle here, it's a positive angle, so if its measure is uh, theta, then this will be cosine theta. So that, that is the adjacent side of this right triangle. And then uh, the opposite side is uh, equal to uh, sine theta. So that is our opposite side. So equal to sine theta. Now, if we consider a sector of radius cosine theta, with central angle equal to theta. So if I'm going to draw that uh, sector, so I have here a uh, sector wherein the radius is equal to cosine theta, central angle is equal to theta. So if you still recall how to find, uh, let's say area of a circle with a radius r, central angle is equal to theta, radius r, then the area of this is equal to one half uh, theta r squared or r squared theta. So theta r squared. And uh, theta is in region measure in this case. So let us uh, first uh, consider the case wherein uh, the angle theta is between 0 and uh, pi over 2. It's a positive angle. So it is clear in this uh, figure that uh, in this case, the area of this uh, green sector is uh, equal to uh, area is equal to 1 half uh, theta. And then the radius is cosine theta. So it's the square of cosine theta, cosine squared theta. Now, if you look at this uh, triangle here, so if I'm going to draw this uh, triangle with base uh, equal to one, then the area, it is clear that this area here, which is the area of this uh, triangle, is larger than the area of the green sector. And the area of this uh, triangle is one half, its base is one, and the height is equal to sine theta. So this is just one half uh, sine theta. Now, lastly, we consider the uh, sector with radius equal to one and angle theta. Then that is, uh, it is this region here, okay, this sector. And it is clear that this uh, uh, sector is greater than this uh, uh, region here, uh, this uh, triangle, the area of this uh, triangle. So the area of uh, that uh, larger sector is equal to one half. And then again, uh, theta times its uh, radius is just one. That is just equal to one. So area is equal to one half theta. So it is clear from this figure that we have the following relationship. We have one half theta cosine squared theta, and then less than one half sine theta, less than one half theta. And if we multiply all sides by two, we'll get here cosine squared theta times theta less than sine theta and then less than theta. And here we get a bound for sine theta over theta, which is cosine squared theta. Okay, it's a bound below and then bound above, we have here one. So we didn't change the direction of the inequality because we divided all sides by a positive number theta. So we have this relationship already. So let's continue. So we've shown that cosine squared theta is less than sine theta all over theta less than one. But this is, we've shown this so far for theta between zero and pi over two. Since we're looking for a two-sided limit, we have to consider also its values when theta is less than zero. So, so if we can show that we, we satisfy this uh, compound inequality also for theta less than zero, then we're almost done. So let us uh, look at the case where theta is between, let's say, negative pi over two and then zero. So if you have an angle between negative pi over two and zero, then that means the negative of theta will be between zero and pi over two. Since we showed that we satisfy this compound inequality, if you have an angle between zero and pi over two, then using that fact, 
So we have here cosine squared of uh, negative theta is less than sine of negative theta all over negative theta and then less than 1. But cosine function is an even function. So cosine of negative theta is the same thing as cosine theta. So this is just cosine squared theta. And then sine function being an add function, it is negative sine theta. So sine of negative theta is negative sine theta over negative theta less than 1. And of course, we can make this positive. So it is clear that cosine squared theta is less than sine theta all over theta less than 1 for angles for values of theta between negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 excluding 0. And since uh, if we compute here limit of uh, cosine squared theta as uh, theta approaches 0, it is continuous at 0, so the limit is just the function value. And cosine of 0 is equal to 1, so that is 1 squared, which is equal to 1. And of course, limit of uh, 1 as uh, theta approaches 0, it's just a constant, so the limit is equal to 1. By Therefore, by squeeze uh, theorem, we conclude that limit of sine theta all over theta as theta approaches zero is equal to one.